Aloha everybody, this is Tanya with Nail Girl Salon and your CND Education Ambassador for Oregon. Hey, I had an idea after seeing some pictures on Pinterest. Of course, clients send us pictures and say, hey, wouldn't it be cool if you could do these nails? And one of the ones that was popping up recently was a marbleizing technique. Now, our own Christina Estrabooks did a marbleizing technique back some time ago that she posted on YouTube, and you can also find these photos on Pinterest. The marbleizing technique involves using a dish of water. My dish of water is coated with a little bit of saran wrap just for easy and quick cleanup, but essentially all I have in this dish is water. And I have a handy dandy toothpick close at hand. So I'm thinking it's great to have this marbleizing technique but the biggest problem with the marbleizing technique is that you have to tape all the way around the cuticle and the back of the finger you place your drops of polish into the water and then you're going to dip your finger in and you have your beautiful marbleizing on your nail but the problem then becomes waiting for it to dry peeling off all the tape and doing the cleanup afterwards. So I had an idea that I tried out last night. Remember I said on my page that I had a crazy idea? So let me share with you what I did. Just for the fun of it, I decided to go with a rainbow theme on this one. Typically I use um, a couple of colors that are contrasting for my design, but we're going to start out with a rainbow style design. And I had most of the colors in Color and Effects, but not all of them. So forgive me for using a couple of competitor brands on, on the other colors. But a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do when she has a hankering to make a video. So here we go. We've got some purple down, we've got some blue, some somewhat green, yellow, we all know the colors of our rainbow. A little bit of orange. And yes, I know I could have mixed color up to do a rainbow, but it is what it is. So, there we go. I have my really pretty rainbow, and I'm going to go ahead and take my toothpick and draw it through my design. Actually, that kind of looks cool just like that although I would like a little more green but like we said it is what it is so here was my thought normally at this point you would go ahead and stick your finger in there and bring up your design what I have done is I have just a plain Ziploc bag and I'm gonna go ahead and take my Ziploc bag and press it into my design here and pick it up out of the water. Look at that. Now I'm going to let this dry for a couple of hours and then it will actually just peel right off the plastic after it is dried. And the cool part about that is that, see how it's just peeling off right there? After you do your shellac manicure, you can take and in your tacky layer of your cured shellac before you do your shellac top coat, cut the piece that you want to fit over top of the nail and then secure that in with your shellac top coat and voila, you have a marbleized design that can be worn in shellac. It's dry when they leave and you will look really cool to all of your clients because they will think you are a genie as well as you will save a lot of time by preparing your designs ahead of time and knowing what your client wants color wise when they come in for their next visit. Hope you enjoyed. Aloha and mahalo for watching.